Hey everybody, Pixel here, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. In the last episode, uh, we went on a date with Alfie's, and uh, that led to us to where we are now, uh, which is apparently below the lab. This elevator kind of stopped working correctly, and then we crashed down here, so let's see where we are. Oh, this looks pleasant. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Tree number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. Turned on the sink. Turned on the sink. Turned on the sink. So yeah, as you can see, we have some uh, very difficult enemies coming up here. Uh, that's, I believe, only my second game over in this run. Uh, the first was to Undyne, so you know what? Fitting. These two are obviously almost romantically involved, I guess, so... Another way you can get that to appear is just turning on and off the sink three times. I wanted to let you listen to this uh, song. It's called Amalgamate. But the way you actually spare them, I'm actually just going to say it since I'm not making bios for the Amalgamates. Uh, you use sell and then you refuse. 
be seeing you. All right. So yeah, uh, as you can see, these are fucking creepy. Uh, and that's the whole point. This is the haunted-esque area of the game. Now that we've spared them, there's a red key lying in the sink. Took it and put it on your keychain. And let's put that in here. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. How convenient. Already read these. All right. Let's save. I'm honestly, I'm gonna save a lot in here just because there's a lot of opportunities to die. Power room. Okay. It's quite obvious what we need to do by that door's design. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Okay. That's a, that sounds reasonable. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh. It's an empty dog food bowl. Seems like it comes from the vet. I want to lie on it. <coughs> okay. Hello, spoon. Okay. Okay. What a nice guy. But you know what? That guy that guy was pretty nice here. So I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with this place. Yellow key under this bed's uh Thing. Covers, I guess they are called. <laughs> Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Okay, well. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! Okay. Back to insanity, I see. Oh, this looks wholesome. This looks very wholesome. Oh, it's just a green key lying in the bathtub, as green keys do. This is not a safe point. This is... Lemon bread! Lemon bread is probably the creepiest of these in terms of design, but uh, we're gonna start off by humming, and then this attack is difficult. Uh, you are bound to take damage at least once or twice. Flex. Flex your arm. Lemon bread's muscle shakes. Do you think I'm pretty? Oh, absolutely. You know what? I've never seen something more beautiful than you, lemon bread. Unhug. Let lemon bread be. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I've felt this before. Have you? Interesting. And we can spare. Alright. Surprised I didn't die, honestly. DT extraction machine status inactive. Alright, well. We're not gonna do anything about the next room just yet. Because we have the yellow key. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Okay, what's in them? There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Well, let's start with tape one. Psst, gory. Wake up. Mm, what is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shh, I want to get your attention. Reaction, not attention. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is 
Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Tape two. Okay, Kara, are you ready? Do your creepy face. <laughs> oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> okay, are we involved somehow? Howdy, Kara. Smile for the camera. Ha! <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Okay, tape four. I don't like this idea, Kara. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Kara. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. This does not sound very great. How does it? Kara, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Kara. You have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Kara, please. Please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? No comment. Okay, let's continue on. Apparently Kara is involved in this somehow. There's noises, but we can't see anything, so I guess we should go back and come back when we can see things. Uh, because that was a crossroads that led us to this area, so... That means, usually, that there's more to see. And if there's more to see, I'm gonna see it. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Well, if you're talking about Metaton EX, I can't blame you. Like those petals in the midair. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Let's do it. All right. It's the amalgamate. The amalgamate. Okay. Uh, well, you can tell it's dogs, so let's beckon. You call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Let's play. Amalgamate is not excited enough to play with- what? How are you not excited? Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Okay, we need to heal. 
Cinnabon. Damn. Oh my god, this is tough. I mean, I guess this is like the end game, but... A pet? You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Zzz. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls up wildly on the walls. Okay, that's not creepy. Okay. This is, like, a really difficult attack. Do we have the st We don't have the stick. If you have the stick, you can spare it instantly, uh, because it's... Believe it or not, the sparing pattern for this is exactly the same as Greater Dog back in Snowden, so... Uh, play? You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping, amorphous body on you. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Twitching affectionately. Uh, hush poop. And Dogony is content. Oh, because we ate the hush puppy? I didn't know that could actually... Okay, well, I guess the dog... And Dogony is contented. Okay, well, still learning new things about this game as I record this Let's Play. But let's head back to that room that was all foggy because, uh... I think it's quite clear what we need to do there uh, since those fans turned on and the fog in that room went away the fans in this next room most likely also went away because that's how games work entry number 19 the families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home what am i supposed to say i don't even answer the phone anymore entry number 20 asgore left me five messages today Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. <laughs> Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Okay. It's getting a little depressing now, isn't it? Put the green key in the slot. Let's check these fridges. All right, okay. Never mind, that fridge isn't very happy with us. It's so cold. Let's... Remember back to MTT Resort in Hotland, right before the core. Snowdrake's dad said that ever since his mom, Snowdrake's mom, passed away, Snowdrake hasn't wanted to come home. I think it's pretty obvious who this is. This is Snowdrake's mom. So, let's joke. Told a bad pun about snow, her expression starts to shift. <laughs> I remember. This fight is creepy just because its attacks are impossible to die to. Told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. <laughs> hey, you. Told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. So yeah, that's that. Uh, that fight is potentially one of the creepiest in this area, and I think it's pretty obvious all the fights here are meant to be relatively creepy. That's the creepiest, at least if you ask me. This looks an awful lot like Photoshop Flowey, but whatever, that doesn't matter. We are done with him. Okay. Actually, do we check this? Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners? Well, obviously not. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? 
Oh shit. Golden flowers. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. It's all starting to make sense, isn't it? But... This is probably the hardest of the amalgamates. Let's mystify. Did something mysterious. Recognize it has more to learn from this world. Of. Good question. This sprite that appears in this box is called Everyman. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it symbolizes, but it shows up a lot later on in a different thing connected to Undertale, but whatever. Let's pick on, because I think I can see astigmatism up there. You pick on. It seemed effective. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, okay, this is, this is, okay. Let's pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit. Courage. Okay. Reaper Bird seems placated. Placated? I don't fucking know. But. We've taken care of that. Blue key fits perfectly into the slot. And that's all the keys. I don't know why I'm saving so much, especially here since we're already going back to the main room, but whatever. Already read all these, I think. Hopefully. Tried my best to read all of them, but... This door is open now, so let's head in. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Another one bites the dust. Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. Sure does. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Oh, this looks good. Yep, nothing could possibly go wrong here. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kinda sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had and... Anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth, or that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls could, would last after death but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work knowing Everything I'd done so far had been a horrific failure. But now? Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I'll screw it up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, 
I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. All right, well, was that the key to our happiness that Flowey talked about? Who knows? Okay, that's not dialogue, that's a face. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Well. It's a voice you've never heard before. Kara, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Kara, see you soon. Mm -hmm.